Welcome. This video tutorial will show you how to connect data coming from real OpenXC devices with the OpenXC Freeboard template applications. For this demonstration, I'll be using a Ford Reference Vehicle Interface device programmed with the emulator firmware. So to start out, let's navigate to the OpenXC Freeboard portal at openxc.freeboard.io. Click the API and Docs link at the top. Then click the Tutorials link, which will take us to the main documentation area for the OpenXC Bug Labs integrations. Go over to the Release tab. You'll find instructions and a link to download the latest version of the OpenXC enabler at Android application integrated with Dweet.io. At the time of this recording, the Dweet integration functionality has not yet been merged with the version of the enabler app that's on the Play Store. Therefore, you'll need to download and install this APK manually. So go ahead to the download section and download the APK and load it onto your Android device. If you don't know how to do this, there are a large number of tutorials online that'll show you how the procedure works step by step. It's uh, pretty simple once you get the hang of it. So once the app is installed and opened, you'll see the familiar OpenXC home screen. We'll go ahead and hit Settings. Then over to Recording. And you'll notice two fields at the bottom related to Dweet. The first checkbox will toggle the connection and piping of data to Dweet. And the second is the Dweet identifier for your device, which we call the thing name. You'll notice the application has automatically generated a unique thing name for you. Uh, you can change the name if you'd like, just make sure the send data checkbox is unchecked first. Once you're all set with a thing name, go ahead and touch the send data to Dweet.io checkbox. And then we can go back to the home screen. And if your device isn't already connected, go ahead and hit the search for Bluetooth BI button, which will connect your reference hardware. And uh, of course, make sure that your Bluetooth is enabled on the Android device. So once everything is good and connected on the enabler app side, let's go back to our browser and navigate to dweets.io slash follow. And then we'll type in the thing name that was set in the enabler app. You'll see the first tab populated with uh, number of different visual graphs that depict the live OpenXC data that's coming in. There'll be one graph for each signal that it detects. And then you can also click the raw tab to see the data in JSON format. Now, if you'd like a quick way to display all of your lab data in Freeboard, click the Create a Custom Dashboard link. This will create a brand new Freeboard and automatically populate it with widgets correlating with each signal coming from your OpenXC device. If you're signed in to your OpenXC Freeboard account, you'll be able to peek into the configuration of this board and customize it to your liking. You can also now start using the live data modes of the OpenXC Freeboard templates. 
Full instructions can be found here at the OpenXC GitHub repository. And that's it for this tutorial. Please check out the description section below for links to further documentation. Thanks for watching.